All right, what's up, you guys? This is Lloyd here with the single guy. I got my buddy. Oh, Evil Stifler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so Lloyd wanted to come into the park today and have a little conversation about one thing that I always find that helps me get laid more than everybody else in the world is um, persistence. Now, perseverance and persistence are the key to success. It, you know, it, it's really true. It's so true that you know, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Okay, we've all heard that before. But um, more importantly, persistence to hang into the set when you might think that it's over because you're not getting the feedback you want from the girl at the time because maybe her friends came in. Um, maybe your conversation is running a little bit dry. So. Persistence works in two ways for me. If the conversation runs dry, I'm going to be switching over and trying to change scenery. So, okay, I'm at the, you know, I'm eating the dance floor, we're dancing, blah, 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 blah. You can't say much shit on the dance floor because you're dancing. You want to prelude over to the bar to get a drink. So, hey, come on, let's go over to the drink. You're getting a drink. You do the, hey, where's it from? How's he doing? The, the regular questions, you know. Um, maintaining, you know, a, a flirtatious relationship as you're trying to see where, how she likes you or not. And, uh, and then, you, you know, continue on with your persistence of, of your questioning and how, how, you're, how you're placing yourself into the position that she is okay with you being with her. And so that way if her friends come up or whatever, another thing you might say, oh, that, oh, oh her friends are here, so oh, I'll see you later. You know, or she, you know, she might be like, hey, all my friends just showed up. Great, let's go over there and meet them, walk over there with her, you know. Yeah. Um, you want to jump in here, Lloyd? Say a little yeah, something, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, dude. This is like, uh, like the, the the typical answer that you get from guys that give up really easily and don't get laid, or like guys that are they'll they'll come back to me and they'll say, oh, like her friends showed up, or like, oh, she got in the cab and she <laughs> she got she got in the cab and she went back to her place. To her place. And it's like, dude, why didn't you go meet her friends? Why didn't you go back to her place? It's when things don't go exactly the way people imagine them in their heads, and well, the way they imagine them is so narrow-minded like when you're going out and you're meeting people like dude th complicated things happen situations get crazy and you're gonna have to be able to be cool with them and figure out a way um, to get what you want out of it and that's if, if your goal is to go home with the chick that night then going to her place as opposed to your place isn't really that big of a deal um, her friends coming in and meeting them and then you get to talk to her after isn't that big of a deal but a lot of people get thrown off when exactly how they picture things going down if it doesn't go that way then they just give up and what we're trying to tell you right now is to not do that if things are gonna get thrown at you that you're not gonna see every night you go out things happen that I've never pictured before happening um, but I've had similar things happen to me and I've still gotten the job done so it doesn't really throw me off and it doesn't throw evil Stifler off either uh, a lot of the times that when I find like that situation where I, I meet some girls like we're at the bar hanging out and they go onto the dance floor and then we you know so let's say that they haven't been to the dance floor yet they all want to go dance and I, and I love dancing too but um, sometimes girls don't want to dance with you directly in front of their friends when they all met you it's one thing if you meet a girl on the dance floor or if you meet her by yourself and you guys are going out and dancing together but I've always found that a lot of times when women go out to dance together in a group and they walk on the dance floor they kind of like to feel the dance floor out and like you know shake it out a little bit so they can get a little bit of attention from everybody so what I always find is cool is if you don't want to dance with them right off because like they don't want to dance with you and you don't want to fucking blow yourself out of the set by being like too aggressive on the one girl you know because otherwise her girlfriends be like all right buddy you know might like block you out and they can block you out too but also you know buddy up with their friends quality move always buddy up with their friends and stay stay on top of that but if their friends are hot just like them make sure that you're not <laughs> you know that you're still coming back and giving us a little bit of attention to the one that you are actually into because you know girls get jealous just as easily as guys do um and we're all human so anyhow what I'm saying is when they're dancing on the dance floor and, and you don't have anything to say and you don't want to just kind of give them a little space but you don't want to lose them, this is perseverance, step back for a second. Go get a drink yourself from the bar, but if it's a giant club, you know, maybe just step back and like, you know, act like you're talking to some random stranger, like turn around to a guy and be like, hey, what's up, you know, like shoot, shoot the shit with him, buddy up with somebody else for a second. A, you know, you got two other girls you gotta help, you know, find them guys for, so don't pick some fucking nerd who's gonna suck and ruin your shit if you're standing next to him. Like, avoid that guy. Also, if you see some, like, you know, try and find somebody who's in the similar mind frame as you that, you know, you, that won't suck. Um, so, anyhow, my, the point of it is, is back off from them for a second, and then when, you know, they're done dancing or, 
You can come back in and be like, hey, let's go get a drink at the bar. And then you come back up for round two, right? And uh, I'm not opposed to buying women drinks either. I, some people say it's stupid. If a chick asks me to buy her a drink, I'll tell her no. But yeah, if, it's, it's the way they ask too. Yeah, yeah, it's the way they. So like, are you gonna buy me a drink? I'm like, bitch, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm buying you shit. <laughs> um, but if a chick's like dancing, we're talking, you know, and like I'm getting to know, her, I, I love to buy her a drink. I mean, my fucking pleasure, you know, because uh, and and you know, I always like to throw in like a little comment, like, come on, I'll buy you a drink, no sex attached, you know, what, whatever. I'm big on like disassociating myself with the end result, you know. Kind of like it's cool. We don't have to do anything you don't want to, kind of thing. Yeah. Or you know, if you know, you, you walking with a chick, just look and be like, I'm not gonna have sex with you. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not having sex. So get that out of your mind. Yeah. Um, subliminally, just putting in little pokers to have fun and be be playful with it too. And it kind of takes the ease out of the you know the monkey out of the what's the next one? The elephant out of the room or some shit. Anyhow, one bite at a time. Yeah. So elephant yeah. Gets elephant Here you go, room. buddy. Okay, so um, all, all these little things that Evil Stifler is talking about when it comes to persistence and, and getting women, they're all just like little little nitpicks that they're going to happen to you in the night when you're going out and you're going about your day. And all, all, what I think separates the, um, the guys that are actually successful and the guys that just end up giving up is... That well, for, well. First of all, the guys who do well, they want it more than the guys that don't. The guys that just kind of give up, they didn't really want it to begin with. Yeah, how much do you want it? It's like when you go to talk to a girl, and I think we were talking about this, and I heard you you t you were talking about this in one of your videos the other day. I was yeah. watching it. It's like when you when you talk to a girl, you know, are, are you talking to her just to amuse yourself to get this quota of oh, I talked to the girl. Okay, well, I'm good for the night then. Or do you actually want to? Are you actually attracted? Are you actually interested? And in how bad do you want it you know and, and are you willing to fight for it and that means fighting your fighting yourself too because you're your own worst critic everybody is so you know I think that if you, if you really want it then then you'll put it in your head that you want it you know and and that'll be something that you can stick with but don't get to be a fucking psychopath and a sociopath and if she's not into it you know don't push it on her and like you know obviously don't embarrass yourself because then that's gonna fuck up your uh, self-esteem even more you know and so yeah, I would just say that you gotta you gotta really want it. If you want to go out and you want to meet a girl and you think she's really pretty, don't hesitate. You know, step first. Be the because women have like a split second hesitation. If you if she looks at you, smiles, and you fucking look off to the side, she's gonna look around to the next guy and smile. You know, and 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 literally like, I'm a little bit of a jaded fucker, motherfucker for this because my my vision's not too good so I miss out on a lot of those opportunities so I really judge body language also a lot too but what you, you were talking about body language earlier what were you saying um so with uh with body language and and, and posture um I basically well the way I conduct myself is I kind of make sure that I'm standing up straight and have, I have good posture but if I have to lean over and their like their body language oh their body their language, language. Reading oh. their body language <clears throat> If she's if she's turned and facing to me, then that's what I look for. If she's looking around, like trying to see what else is going on, um, like and she's gi giving me and I'm talking to her shoulder basically, where you sometimes get that, um, then that's not good. And I should try and make sure that I'm getting her her, her full face and her shoulders are are tilted so they're um, you know I can I can I can see her her, her whole front. Um, and that's kind of the stuff that I look for. But I kind of wanted to get into. Uh, Tell, tell some stories about persistence. Do you want to tell, talk about some stories? I have a couple right now that I that I can just dish out. So so I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do one story that really exemplifies. Mine's kind of like a long game. I think Evil Stifler, the one he might tell, is like what happened over the course of a night. But mine happened over like a couple weeks. It co happened over a couple weeks. Boy, he's never been on that journey. <laughs> so uh, I met this chick. My buddy, he works at one of, one of the strip clubs here. Um, we were at this we were at this party. This happened you know, like a year and a half ago. <laughs> That's kidding. That's kidding. That's kidding. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, so stepmom. <laughs> so basically, um, we were at this. We we're at this party. It was open bar, and um, I'm just chilling and I'm talking to one of the strippers. Um, and she's like really hot. I'm really into her, and we're kind of gelling. We're having a good time, and I I try and get her number at some point. She's like, "You can't get my number." I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "I can't get my number out to customers," and I'm like, "What? That's silly. Like, you should give me your number." She's like, "No," and she walks away. 
find find her again, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? We talked for a little bit. It seems like it's going well. She's about to run off, and I'm like, hey, you, you got to just slim your number. It's going to be cool. It's fine. She's like, nope, can't do it. Runs off, goes do, goes to do her dance. Guys are throwing money at her. She goes off with one of the dudes to give him a lap dance. And I'm like, shit, like, putting, putting all this work in and not getting anything out of it. So then she uh, she comes back. I start talking to her again, and I'm like, you got to give me, like, just... <laughs> Please, <laughs> something. I'm saying something. Uh, I see her sometimes, even to it, listen to it. Yeah, and so, but uh, and eventually she she's like, I'm like, all right, cool. So, so I take a pen and I put it in her hand. And I'm gonna just write it write it down really quick on my hand. So she writes her number down really quick on her on my hand, and then I never see her again. Um, so then the next day I message her. She doesn't really respond, and then I message her again. Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> That's persistence. And then I'm saying, and then I'm, and, and then I'm, and then I'm saying something funny, and then she finally responds, uh, and then we talk for like, we talk for like a week or something like that, messaging back and forth. She's kind of giving me not much, and eventually, I don't know how I did this, but I convinced her to come out uh, on a on a date with me. Um, I think I did it while I while I FaceTimed her. Actually, that was that was a pretty that was a pretty good move, because uh, I got her on the phone. As I'm, because you know, obviously, if I wasn't getting any signals that she was interested in me, I would have stopped. Sure. I would have stopped a long time ago. Um, but I knew she was interested. She was just kind of being. It seemed like it was a little bit of a play, playing hard to get type stuff, but she was also just trying to protect she was herself too. Throwing at herself every she, single night. Yeah, she's just, you know she's working in an environment where like guys are trying to get at her constantly. Um, and so eventually I took her out on the date and she was like kind of being mean to me at the beginning, but I was persistent and I was nice no matter what. And then uh, I ended up I ended up taking her home. We ended up having a good time. It was great. Oh. What, are, what are you looking at? Sorry, I was checking on this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm literally like a fucking <laughs> dog when I see a ball jumping down the street. It's, it's, a, it's a curse. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's a blessing. So um, the, the point being was that, like, you know, I, I, I knew that she was interested, and I didn't let – a lot of people would have been just like, oh, well, I guess I can't do it because she works there, and I'm a customer. Um, she I, said no four she, times. She said <laughs> – could have been that one. That would have been a little bit of a kicker too, but <laughs> but you stuck to it. The kids stuck so, to it because so, you liked her. So, so, so I stuck. I mean, I stuck to it because because I liked her. And also, I mean, she was giving me. I, I could tell this chick was interested in me. It was just the fact that she was like. I, it seemed like she was vetting me a little bit, and at the same time, she was also. I knew her position, and I knew kind of the stuff that she was in. Um, and I, I knew that if I, I did, get, I did get the phone number, like something good could happen out of it. So. You know, I was persistent, but I wasn't like obnoxious about it too. I so wasn't like annoying her. You got the FaceTime. Oh no, I went on a date and then and then I she was being kind of mean to me, but like eventually at around two a.m. I brought her home and we ended up having sex and it was awesome. Beautiful story. Yes. Beautiful story. So that was over the course of a couple weeks um, where you can be persistent, and then uh, Evil Stifler will tell you. You want to tell the story what that happened to you a week ago? Uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little long, but I'll, I'll tell it. So here, here's a quick one. Um, I mean, short news. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so um, I walk into this restaurant. I see this hot chick. My buddies are there. They weren't having the night. The the chef that I knew that was gonna work there. So we we ended up leaving. All right. Went to a bar. Came out. Went back to my house to get a to get another jacket because it was cold and on the way back to my house I, I walked by the restaurant and that girl was standing outside this time and I was like hey I saw you earlier for like two seconds when I was walking by and she was like yeah the two second guy and I was like yeah, that's me haha uh -huh, mr. two second man you know and um, and so then we had a little laugh and I was like what are you up to and she's like oh we're gonna go to this bar next door so we walk in the bar the girls walk in the bar and uh, they go right to the bathroom and they come out and they come running out of the bathroom I'm like what the fuck so then, and like normally, you know, girls come in the bar with you, and then they just walk right past me. I'm standing on the wall, and they just walked right past me and go outside. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no, nah, bitch, I was just talking to you. Like, this shit ain't over yet. Where <laughs> the fuck you going? <laughs> so then I roll up on them outside, and I'm like, hey, what's up? Where'd you go? And they're like, oh, well, our friend got in a fucking, our friend got choked in the bathroom by this other chick. She, like, fucking choked her, and so we were, we're leaving because this bitch almost fucking tried to fight my friend. And I was like, oh, well, fuck that bitch, you know. If we were find her, we'll fuck her up. So we're walking down the street, sure as shit, here comes the chick that choked the, one of the girl, the, the girl that I was into, her friend, got choked, and uh, the girl, like, fucking grabs her, th my girl grabs her and throws her on the ground, and then, like, 
she's like starts punking this other chick. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. She was like, bitch, don't fucking touch my friend. Fucking like slammed her on the ground by her throat. Awesome. I was like, holy shit, this bitch is badass. <laughs> right? <laughs> for real. For real, for real. Like, she, I, that was my kind of girl. <laughs> and uh, so then I start yelling at the girl on the ground. I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking choke people, bitch. That's what you get. You know, like, <laughs> buddying up with the, the girl that I was into. And she's like, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having my back. And then I was like, fuck that bitch. So then I instantly had her back, right? So that was per- persistence, perseverance, number one, right? Then they're like, oh, well, let's go to this club. So we go downtown. We hop in the cab. We all go to this club. We're partying. We're dancing. Here's the same situation I was just talking about. They're on, they go to the dance floor, and I'm like into this chick. You know, we're having fun, we're dancing, but her girlfriends are there too, and she's trying to dance with them. And uh, her girlfriend, his girlfriend, just got choked, so that was kind of like a big deal. We had to like help, you know, soothe her through her time of trauma, and uh, and so like you know, I was persistent with that. And there's like lots of other girls around. Normally, most guys would be like, "All oh, right, fuck this shit. It's too much, too much of a hassle." But I stuck in there. I felt I fell back on the dance floor a little bit. Talked to a couple people, just like I said, and then. Um, and then they're like, oh, we're going to go to this other club. So it's 2 o'clock in the morning. All the bars are closed. It's a fucking Tuesday. We go from that club. We go to this other club. It's not even, o- it's not even open, but my friends own it. So they open the door for us. We party in there until 6 o'clock in the morning. These other two girls that she was with, they were getting all fucked up on God knows what. And me and my girl, we weren't into that. So the end of the night comes, and it, the sun's coming up. We're walking out of the club on a fucking Tuesday. And... Um, on a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday, for real, for real. <laughs> and so, like, so then we all, we all hop in a cab, and there's just three guys, and there's just three girls, and me, you know. And I'm I'm been with my girl, and everybody else is all fucked up on miscellaneous drugs and whatnot. And so the guys are like, well, can we just get a ride home? Because it was kind of like on the way. And I was like, well, what's up? Like, you want to come back to my house? And she's like, oh, I can't. I gotta go to my girl. I got my dog at home. I got I live in fucking I live out of town, and I gotta go to my girlfriend's house. And I'm like, all right, well, what's up? Can I go with you? And she's like, she's like, yeah, let's just drop off these guys first. I was like, sweet. So then I'm fucking persist, persistence and perseverance in number four, all right? Fucking miracle number four. I can only supposed to, you know, perform three miracles to become a saint. But <laughs> doing four. Yeah, doing four up in this bitch. So anyhow, so we get to the girl's house. We dropped off all the other guys, and her girlfriend won't let me in the house. It's fucking 7 o'clock in the morning now. The sun is on the way up. It's fucking freezing cold. I'm like, what are we doing here? I, I could have just got out of my house because we drove right by my house. And she's like, well, and I was like, well, that sucks. You want to just come back to my house? And she's like, all right, let's just go back to your house. But I couldn't take her to my house because I had my fucking friend sleeping on my front door. And I was like, and her girlfriend's like, no, no, she's going to stay with me. We're going to call you your own cab and you're going to go home. And I looked at her and I'm like, fuck, come on. Like, what the fuck? Like, just send her home. She's all fucked up. She, doesn't, she just wants somebody to hang out with. So finally, the girl was like, no, honey, tells her girlfriend that the girl that got choked, she goes, tells her girlfriend, she goes, hey, like, I, I, we're going to go over to my house and, um, and we're going to, I'm, I'm going to take him home with me. So we call another cab, boom, head up out of town, go to this chick's house. She's a beautiful house. We get there, awesome house, and hung out all morning long until like noon. It was great. Um, I don't want to get into details, but it was... Was that Persistence it, number five? That was Persistence number five, was five. getting in the fucking cab with her, and instead of just punking out and going to my house, nope, going 20 miles out of the fucking city to go home with this chick. Because that's how badass and hot she was, and that's how much I wanted it. And that's the story. If you want it, and you like her, and you're cool, and you can hang, hang, hang in there. Don't be a fucking little bitch. Don't yeah. give yourself con- constrikes. Constraint, constraints, constraints. <laughs> yeah, there, there's one, there's one thing that I wanted to add before we end this, and that's like, I this is a lesson for me because trust me, as a guy who's like angry all the time, it, Evil Siffler didn't lose his cool when things were happening, when things were getting thrown his way. Oh, yeah, I could have been fucking. Pissed he he could as, times. as soon as you start getting all pissy and we're like, fine, whatever. The girls walked right me in the bar. I could have gave up. Yeah, exactly. As soon as you start getting pissy and mad, like it, you, you, it's no one wants to hang out with you when you start doing that. It's done. That's when you really lose. Uh, peop- that's when people, you know, lose your lose your attraction for you. That's when people start start losing interest. Kill them with kindness. That's what happens. And the same thing that happened with me too. I was always being nice. I never I never lost my cool in that in that matter. Um, and I was always like cool, calm, and like you know still still very interested and still smiling. So um, when that happens, don't lose your cool. Um, maintain. Maintain your confidence and keep going. All right. Well, you know what, guys? It's uh, getting a little chilly out here. Thanks a lot for having me, Lloyd. Always a good opportunity to be on the single guy. Good network, good channel. Subscribe to the single guy on the YouTube channel, Lloyd's channel. (laughs) Yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. Come up with videos like this every single week. Thanks a lot, and good luck out there.